Hey guys, we're looking at Strattle DJ 1.9.6 beta. And um, as you can see, there's a bunch of new features. We have Smart Sync now available for the DBS hardware. Temple Slider affects all your sync decks. Option is available in the setup screen. Anti Drift to stabilize your BPM when you're using a wonky turntable because we've all used wonky turntables. Favorite effects banks, chronological loop sorting. Loops are now able to be reordered. Enable hot cues option now available in the setup screen. Uh, pitch play performance pad mode now available for all those controllers that would use it. You know, basically every controller you see there is a controller that has pads on it. Um, so what do we have here? Is also all the issues. So fixed playhead jumping out of an active loop while scratching um, near the in and outs of the loop. Fixed playhead jumping out of a loop when the sensor is released. Fixed playhead jumping out of an active loop when pressing sync. Fixed the playhead jumping out of an active loop using slicer mode. That's a good one for me. Fixed shift and click to seek out of an overview while SP8 is track is looping. Fixed distortion when clipping happens in Windows Offline Player. It fixed an issue when the USB insert effects BPM wasn't synced on a range 62, which I've never used, so didn't know about that. Uh, fixed library view jumping when key modifiers are held. Fixed sync switching off when toggling from relative mode to internal. Fixed the Pioneer DJM S9 sending effects auto BPM MIDI and unable to be MIDI mapped. It fixed tempo match display not being updated correctly. Fixed pulse logger lock in button visible when disabled in the sub screen. Fixed cue point rearranging even if chronological cue point is turned off. Fixed alt plus double click not set in new beat grid in beat grid edit mode. Fixed switching from relative to internal in a half double situation result in an incorrectly synced BPM. Never saw that either. Fixed an issue where the start stop time was not reflected correctly in the GUI. Fixed an issue where the long transitions caused the tool tip to be too wide. Wow, they fixed a lot of stuff, man. Fixed an issue where you're unable to tab search result after searching library. Fixed two com complement. Com yes, two complement data map and not saying correctly. What is that? <laughs> fixed smart crates not falling correctly. Not following current key notation. Sorry. Like, A, I need to have my eyes checked. I'm reading a very small screen. Um, and it just goes on. You know what I mean? Like, they just fixed and fixed and fixed and fixed. And it's a bunch of stuff that I've never run into using an SX2. You know what? I'm not going to read it all off. You can hop on the serato.com forum and uh, you can look that up. So, down there is where you can download the Windows one or your OSX one. So I've already downloaded it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The one thing that I did just to uh, make things a little bit easier is um, just to rename your original one to like Serato DJ 1. So it doesn't overwrite it because you're not going to want to um, wipe out your original because this is a beta. You don't really want to use it in a live setting. And there it tells you. It should be treated as unstable. Make sure you have the latest drivers and firmware. It tells you over here how to back up everything. I didn't back up. I never have. I've always just used it and I've never had an issue. So hit enter. And you know, it is what it is. Showed you 1.96 at the bottom. And you know what? You can kind of go over all the stuff yourself because it's, um, you know, it's your usual update with a bunch of other extras that you just get a chance to play around with and see if it works. You know, so if, just remember, if you're going to be part of the beta, participate in that beta. If you have crashes and issues, be prepared to go into the forums there and let people know what's going on because that's the only way they can actually improve the hardware and the software. Well, I guess it's the software, but in some cases, they may need to do firmware updates and things as well, too, depending on what the issues are. Anyways, guys, that was a bit more long-winded than I would have liked. I will talk to you guys later, and feel free to share this out. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Leave a little comment. If you're a hater, go ahead, leave a comment, too. But 
I must warn you, if you say something stupid, you're probably going to get a stupid reply back. That's it. And uh, let me jump out of here and I will shut down the video.